What's going on? Ryan Kohler, CEO of Applicant Pro here. So today I got a little bit different message here. You can see from the title, right? HR has the power to improve their job board results. It's kind of interesting as I've been in this industry for, gosh, like 12 years now, there's a pretty consistent thing that has always been there. HR has been what we'll call reactive at best to how they generate applicants. Um, generally speaking, I, I deal with thousands and thousands of HR people throughout my clients through going and speaking to National SHRM and, and SHRM events in local states and all those kind of things. And what I hear is fairly, fairly similar. They don't really feel like, or the average HR person doesn't really feel like they can impact the applicants that flow from their job ads outside of simply posting to more job boards, right? So they post to the different job boards and then they kind of do something like this. They cross their fingers, it's called posting and praying. They figure that they'll get whatever they get. Right. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense because of the way the world has worked for them for for decades. Right. If I posted a job in the newspaper, I got what I got. There was very little I could do. I could make it bold. I could make it red. I could try to you know, fake them out by having my ad start with an A. So it show up at the top of the list. But at the end of the day, once I pick a category, it kind of whatever I got is what I got. And early job boards like Career Builder and Monster work the same way. In fact, our best example is Craigslist because Craigslist still acts the same way where you post your job there by picking a category. I'll show you Craigslist here. Job seekers pick a location. They choose a category. And basically, the jobs are displayed to them based off of which one is most recently posted. Now, there's very little that you can do at this point to increase your applicants from Craigslist. There are certainly options, right? I can make sure my, my little ad title sounds cool so people want to click on it. I could pick the right day and the right time of day to post it. Certainly, I don't want to post it like, Friday night at midnight because not very many job seekers will, will be there. And by the time that they actually start looking, which is predominantly during the workday in a weekday, the job will be way down in the list here, right? So I could also post it more often and I could pick multiple categories. Most HR people are pretty comfortable with those, those approaches. They're kind of a pain, but they're comfortable with it. The problem is uh, back in, oh gosh, 2007 range, Indeed came around. And almost all job boards have now followed Indeed's concept. You see, if we jump over to Indeed, there is no category box. There are some of these searches because I come in here and mess around, but generally speaking, Indeed looks just like Google. There's just a big open search box. And so job seekers can type whatever they want in there. Now, employers might, an HR might take the same approach and say, look, if I type in accounting, there's really nothing I can do. People will find my job or they won't find my job. But that simply isn't true. You know, I grew up in the in the 80s, and so you might remember He-Man, right? He-Man would raise his sword and say, I have the power, right? I have the power to change or to do something or to save the day or whatever it is. And the simple fact of the matter is because Indeed is now a search engine of jobs, it means that there's a lot more power in the hands of the person posting the job to adjust how it shows up in the list, what searches it shows up for, how high it shows up for them, but you can't act like an HR person. You need to act like a search engine marketer. Lucky for me, that's my background. Back before I started Applicant Pro, I did search engine marketing. Even for the past, gosh, 12 years running Applicant Pro, a lot of my time is spent generating leads from search engines like Google and Yahoo and Bing, right? Well, Indeed and Glassdoor and ZipRecruiter and even Career Builder and Monster now with the changes they've made, Google for jobs, they're just search engines, which means you need to, if you want to, drive more results from your listing, you need to take proactive action in actually making changes to it. Really, it comes down to choosing the right keywords, using them in the right places, and adjusting the way that you work with the job boards in ways that will maximize the output. But if you continue to do what you're doing, if you just throw the job there, let Indeed come and scrape it, let Glassdoor come and scrape it, then kind of leave it up to whatever happens and say whatever will be, will be, then you're going to get the same results you're getting now. Over time, more and more employers are going to get smarter about how these search engines work. They're going to start adjusting their ads by targeting different keywords, by adjusting the way that the keywords are in there, by adjusting their ads so it drives performance, and you're going to be left behind. So my suggestion to you, you have the power. It's time to step up and take that power. If you Down below is a link to my target, um, my, sorry, my how to how to target job seekers with job boards optimization tool. It gives you five or six ideas of how to improve your results. Go and download it. It will walk you through. It's free. It'll walk you through step by step exactly what you need to do to increase your results from your job board ads 
without spending any extra money. Now, I love Indeed. I love Glassdoor and ZipRecruiter. I work with all of them. So if you need more job job ads or more job applicants, you could certainly sponsor your jobs. But these same concepts also will maximize the number of applicants you get from a paid sponsorship campaign. So this isn't telling you not to use paid job boards, but you should be smart about it. You should maximize or optimize your results or your process so that when you do spend money, you get the biggest bang for your buck. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have great luck hiring. If you have any questions, reach out to me, Ryan K at applicantpro.com. Any questions or comments about this at all? Otherwise, have a great day and good luck hiring.